Hello again, this is Keith Gall, and today we're going to be talking about how you can add an input mask using a, uh, Microsoft Access 2016. So what are input masks? Well, in a work environment, you're going to have many, many people entering data into your applications. And in some instances, you want to have the user enter the data consistently, no matter who it is. Uh, in other words, you want it to be able to define how users must enter data into specific fields. So for example, we're going to talk about telephone numbers and a state abbreviation. Uh, let's first talk about the telephone number. Um, within uh, a work environment, you may want to have users always to have the data entered in with uh, the area code with parentheses around it and a hyphen to separate the next part of the telephone number. So what do nines mean here and what do zeros mean here? Well, nines mean it has to be a number, but it is optional. What that means is the user is able to enter in the telephone number without entering the area code. For example, this may be a requirement that your company sets up. It may not. Maybe other companies may want to require uh, uh, the area code also with the telephone number. Now, zeros in this input mask mean that it has to be a number, again like a 9 is, but it is a required field. So now our next example will be the state abbreviation. When you're entering customer records, uh, you want the state abbreviation to be in a certain format. Well, in this example, well, uh, uh, in access, uh, the default input mask um, uh, the, or the predefined input mask, it doesn't include uh, an input mask for state abbreviation. So you're going to learn today how to create a custom mask. So what does the greater than symbol mean and what do two capital L's mean in this case for this input mask? Well, this means that a greater than greater than sign means that everything that the user enters uh, it forces them to enter everything in uppercase and the two capital L's means that it will only accept a letter no numbers are allowed so let's go over to our database and let's see how all this can be set up Okay, we're in our database, and I have uh, my customer database open right now. And as you can see, um, currently, um, whenever, well, let's go down and add a record. But actually, what you can see, if you tab over to the field, there is no input mask currently set up. So I could enter in just anything that I want. Uh, and it'll accept it as you tab out of the field. Let's go down to the end record, last record, and let's add a record. And let's put LA in lowercase. And let's put in some numbers here. And as you can see, as I tab through it, it actually allowed me to enter data like this, lowercase. Or uh, it allowed me to enter the telephone number without a specific format. And so when you have many users, and you could have hundreds of users going into your database, either through an access form or directly uh, into the table itself, like what we're doing here, not everyone will be entering the data in the same format. So what you want to do is you want to be able to allow users or force users to enter data in a specific format so it is in your database in a consistent format. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the design view by selecting the table name 
and select the design view and we're first going to work with the telephone number so if we select the field telephone number and then come down here to the lower portion what we want to do is we want to select this input mask uh, property and as you click on that you're going to look over to the right and you're going to see three dots here and what that is, is it's called a builder button in access if you click on that uh, you'll have the input mask wizard now access comes with predefined input mass if you scroll down you'll have many different input mass uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select a phone number and uh, and it allows you to test it out here it says try it so we're going to try it as you can see when you click into the try it it automatically creates this input mass with two parentheses and a hyphen so if you select uh, uh, go to the beginning and type in your numbers it'll show you exactly how it's going to appear uh, when the user enters it into the table so that's the mass we're going to use we're going to go to next and what we're going to do is this is the actual uh, uh, the way access does the masking for us again nines mean that it, it must be a number but it is optional and zero means that it must be a number but it is a required field now what does this placeholder mean it means that uh, when the user tabs to the phone number field these placeholders will appear into that field so for instance it defaults to an underscore so if I come down here and click on there as you can see there's underscores here if I go back up here and select a pound sign if I tab over here you can see the placeholders change so what we're going to do is we're going to have the placeholder character to be a pound sign we're going to select next and what this screen says is uh, it asks you how do you want to store the data in other words do you want your database to store it with the formatting that you want so in this case our input mask shows that we want parentheses around the area code and we want this hyphen between the number or do you just want your database just to include the numbers alone without these formatting um, fields so in this case I'm just going to select without the symbols and the mask like this I'm going to click on next and that's the end of the wizard so we're going to click finish so now we got an input mask here so let's see now how this works so let's go back to the customer table and right click and we're going to um, open it up it, 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 because we made changes to the data to the table it asks us we must first save it so we're going to click save so as you can see the data is still stored with the numbers because that's the way that we selected it with the input mask so let's go down to the end record and uh, let's add a record and as you type it in in there it shows the input mass that we want so it has uh, these placeholder is pound signs so it, it again it forces the user okay we want to enter this data this way so we, we could type it in just like that and tab out it adds the record now of course in the, in this test database I'm not having any validation rules on on empty fields or not so let's add another record and I'll show you another example of right now I'm going to type in a letter and as you can see you may not hear that ding that's going on but as I type in letters it's not allowing me to enter a letter because I set up the uh, mass to be numbers only 
a nine or a zero means nine is optional, zero means it, it is a required field, but it must be a number. So let's go over here and remember we said that the area code is optional. So I'm going to click over here and start typing in numbers and it allowed me to enter it in without an area code. So that's the telephone number example. Now let's go back to design view and we're going to set up a custom mask for the state abbreviation. So right click on your table and uh, we're going to go to design view and now we're going to go to the state field and we want to again come down to the input mask um, uh, property. Go over to your right, select the builder button and as you can see there's no predefined uh, input mask for state abbreviation and that's what we're going to uh, be doing. So we're going to click on edit list and if you right now there's records here which are predefined uh, input mask we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to the last record and we're gonna add one so we're gonna call this state abbreviation the input mask again is gonna be the greater hand sign capital letter capital letter in other words the greater uh, um, than symbol means that it's forcing us to type in uh, letters and uh, the L's mean that we're going to also type in all capitals. So what is the placeholder that we want? Again, a placeholder is what's going to appear in the database field for um, uh, uh, once the user tabs to that field. So now we're going to uh, uh, test this out by clicking in the sample data area and watch what happens. AZ, it forces me to type in all capitals. Let's backspace it. Now I'm going to type in uh, a number. It doesn't allow me to type in any numbers because that's what we defined it as. And even if I use the shift key, it still works. So that's how that works. So it's backspace. And now um, what we're going to do is it's text. Okay. And so we're done with this. All you have to do is select close. And um, Let's, uh, it says it cannot be empty. Let's A. Now select close. And now you'll see a state abbreviation um, uh, uh, input mask. So uh, we're going to select that. Select next. Again, it's going to select this formatting. Our placeholder, let's just put it as uh, underscore. Let's try it out. It forces me to put in capital letters. If I type in numbers, it doesn't allow me to go any further. So let's do that. Let's click next. And then uh, since there's no special formatting with this input mass, we're just going to store it without symbols even though there is no symbols anyways. Click next and click finish. So let's go over to the customer table. Let's open it up. It's going to ask us to save the changes. Click yes. And let's just try to edit a field. I'm in lowercase right now. It's still forcing me to enter in capital letters. If I go down to the last record, let's uh, add something. Again, I'm entering letters as lowercase, but it's forcing an uppercase. And it doesn't allow me to add anything more than two characters because that's the way we set up the input mask as. Again, I want to thank you for stopping by. I hope this helps. Bye now.